Sometimes Parkinson's feels like I'm gonna catch a train, a train to nowhere, a train where I don't know where I'm going, what path I'm gonna take. Is it gonna take long or is it gonna be short today? I don't know. No one knows. That's the thing about Parkinson's. You never know. It progresses. It doesn't stay the same. Symptoms come. Symptoms go. Symptoms don't look the same in a young person as they do an older person. I'm not that young, but I'm not that old either. Too old to catch a disease that most people think affects older people. I was one of the many people that are under 50 that got diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. It does look different than it does in an older person. I feel like my life has changed overnight, drastically. Sometimes I wish I could press a button and go back to my old self. You know, the pre-Parkinson self. The person that could do anything they wanted to do. The person that had enough energy to do whatever they wanted to do in life. person that still has a lot of life left. But then I realized maybe that life wasn't so great. Maybe there's some good that'll come out of me having Parkinson's. After all, I'm not the only person in the world with Parkinson's. So here I go again on my walk to catch a train to nowhere, not knowing how fast I'm going to get there or where it's going. Is this a sort of regular day today for me or is it a Parkinson's day? I have to ask myself that every morning, every afternoon, every evening, because if it's a Parkinson's day, I'm not walking very fast. I'm trying to hide the fact that my feet are shuffling. I'm trying to hide the fact that I'm frozen. My feet are frozen. I can't move that fast. If I don't smile at you, it's probably because I'm in pain. All my facial muscles are frozen. Those are all things that happen on a typical day. It's not all bad though. Some days it's okay, I can deal with having Parkinson's. I don't feel like hiding behind my Parkinson's. I can do what everyone else can do, and I don't look like I have Parkinson's. I can dance. I can garden. I can do the things that I like doing. I can spend time with people that I like. So you see, it's not so bad as it sounds, but what's really hard is getting used to the diagnosis of Parkinson's. We're often told by medical professionals that if they had to have a chronic disease, they'd pick our disease. I don't know about that. That always makes me chuckle. But. It's not so bad, after all. What's bad is the acceptance. We must accept it, they tell us. But I don't know if we should, and I don't know if we ever will accept the fact that we have Parkinson's. Why should you, we when there's no cure? But we must move on with our lives. We must go on with our lives. We must build new lives. We must do new things. We must get used to this new state that we have our new partner, Parkinson's, but we should just not shut up about it. We should tell everyone that we have Parkinson's. We should try and let everyone know about this horrible disease and how it could affect the young, how it can affect people that they love, but we should try to be happy. Yes, we should try to be happy. Maybe this train is really not a train to nowhere. And even though my path is not that clear, there is a path and I will get through this. And so will you. And remember, you are not alone. <laughs>